Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new game of Civilization 6 and today we are playing Iron Storm with a new patch so uh, a new patch was released uh, just this week, I think uh, yesterday and so we're going to start recording and um, uh, several changes have happened with the new expansion I'm just going to jump straight into the game and uh, we'll probably talk about the changes directly in the game there was a big change with the diplomatic victory, by the way, and I decided, okay, let's do map size standard, but we're going to play the new map, where is it, where is it, small continents. This was one of my favorite maps in Civilization 4, um, so, well, there was actually big and small, it was, the name was slightly different, but uh, this type of map is, is quite a lot of fun. And um, I'm, I'm glad that they put it now in Civilization 6. And we are going to play with Eleanor of England. Um, because I have not played with Eleanor before. But also because a lot of stuff has been changed with England. So I thought, you know, it would be a good, a good way to try. How, how is England now with the new changes in the patch? Mm, I think there have been some buffs because I think Eleanor of France is a lot stronger than um, Eleanor of England so probably with the new changes that's going to be more balanced I don't know, I have not played with Eleanor before by the way so great works in Eleanor cities cost plus minus one loyalty percentage to foreign cities within nine tiles a city that lives in our civilization due to your loss of loyalty and is currently receiving the most loyalty present from our civilization skips the free city step to join the civilization. Okay, so you can basically conquer cities with loyalty if you are Eleanor. I have read about this ability, it's, uh, it looks quite nice, but uh, I haven't used it yet, so let's see if we, we should put all of the great works of art in the border cities, I guess. And uh, worship of the war, iron and coal mines accumulate two more resources per turn. This is new, plus 100% resources on military engineers. I think some of that is also new. Uh, harbor buildings increase strategic resources piles plus 10 on standard speed. Okay, that's fine. And we obviously have the Royal Navy dockyard and the sea dog as usual with England. So, yeah, a few changes there with England. Um, as a result of, of the of the changes in in gathering storm with the new patch, so that is that is the new stuff. Basically, it has changed a little bit. We get more resources and all that stuff. We have to mention also that after the new patch, um, factories give more production, both with and without electricity. Uh, with electricity they give a lot of course, but even without electricity they give a nice amount of production. Workshops are going to give two, uh, three production instead of two, so they are also much more interesting now. And uh, several of those buildings are cheaper as well, so it's going to be um, more, um, well, more efficient to build industrial zones. That is something to consider as well. So yeah, but basically the diplomatic victory is a big change here. Uh, we need the target number, okay, 20, instead of the usual 10. And the Statue of Liberty gives you more uh, diplomatic victory points. The Potala Palace gives you one, I think this is new. Mahabodhi Temple, I think, gives you two. Let's see how many we get with the Statue of Liberty. Uh, four, we get four, so that's a lot. Um, yeah, and we have to get to 20 and we can get diplomatic victory points by voting for the winning resolution uh, any time throughout the game. So that's another uh, interesting change. I think that's, that's a good idea because the diplomatic victory was a bit slow, a bit uh, boring, I have to say it. So hopefully it's going to be a lot better with the new change. Okay, I moved here hoping to see more stuff. I did not see a lot of stuff. So do I want to waste one move just to settle? Wait, what? Oh, I've, I didn't want to do that. I don't want to search for anything. So this is coastal water and this is fresh water. We have fresh water here, apparently. River, okay. 
So there is another river up here. Uh, it's weird that we have spawned here instead of spawning on the river directly. You usually always spawn in the river. So that's, uh, yeah, that's weird. Anyway, I think I'm going to sell here. Or I could sell in the coast. I mean, with England, I guess it makes sense to have a coastal capital. I will probably want to get a harbor, so harbor can be a lot better if you're on the coast. Maybe there is fish here. Who knows? Um, yeah. We are going to go here. Oh, damn it. There is no fish whatsoever. Well, that's very unfortunate, actually, with so much coast, no fish at all. We are very well protected. That's the good side of this. Anyway, I'm still going to settle here, because if I move, I have to spend another turn, because everything around here is hills. So I lose a lot of time moving. So I will just settle there. I don't want to lose another turn. But it's a real shame that we don't have any fish. Okay, let's do this. Boosted sailing, of course. That's a good idea. Slinger, as usual. So what are we working on here? That stuff, that makes sense. And eventually uh, we are going to get that for food. So that's fine. We're not going to be foodless for so long. Um, mining to chop some of these. I mean, lumber mills are better now with the new changes, so you want to chop everything. But uh, you don't have the um, the river bonus on the lumber mill. So all the lumber mills are better, but like this one is a lot better. This one, not so much, because we lose the river bonus. And we can get lumber mills in the jungle as well. So that's uh, the rainforest, sorry. So yeah. Anyway, we could go here in case we need archery, but it looks like we're going to be very well protected, so we might uh, not need archery so quickly. We are going to need irrigation very quickly, so I guess pottery makes some sense. I don't want those starting with pottery because I cannot do anything with my builders if I start with pottery. So I'm going to start with actually mining, which is not very usual, but Oh, hello, Bologna. That's nice. Meeting in a uh, scientific city before anyone else, getting plus two science immediately. That's very good. At this point in the game, turn two, two science points are actually quite a lot, as you can see. So that's going to be a nice change. And they want me to train an archer, which I'm eventually going to do. So that's another uh, piece of uh, good news. Have they met anyone else? No, they have not met anyone else. So that means there is probably not anyone else very close in the north. Oh, okay. We are definitely very, very well protected in the east. Yep, huge mountain range here. One, two, three, four. I could technically settle here. But it doesn't have any fresh water, so probably no. One, two, three, four. I could settle the bananas. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this one have has fresh water. I could technically settle here. I would leave it as an option. I don't like the idea of settling the bananas because it's a very good tile to work. It has jungle. We can get a very nice plantation there. Um, but it's the only place I can settle on this side, like to the east because after that we have the mountains and up here this would be one two three too close to Bologna this one as well one two three and this is a desert with no fresh water so um, I'm not so sure about that you know anyway those are the options for now not very good options but it's what we have so we have to play with that Okay, city-states now have uh, more units to begin with and walls because the AI was uh, destroying all of the city-states immediately. Mining is coming, so I'm, I am going to get a builder. I mean, I could chop, get some mines, 
what is going after oh this one before that one that's very annoying I should say because this style is a lot worse than this one at the beginning I don't need three gold per turn right now I need three food and two production so that was very unfortunate that we're going to get this one before that one but uh, I will still lock it because I need the two food I cannot grow so slow you know anyway uh, builder right now could chop both of them and get a mine that is definitely an option I could get industrial zone here I mean if I get a harbor here I can get the industrial zone there surrounded with mines here 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 and there and that would be a very good industrial zone and then eventually uh, something like a campus here or even here yeah we're going to go with that okay let's get a uh, builder and then I will chop probably a settler I imagine when you find yourself in a hole uh-huh uh, we will want to go irrigation very soon, so I guess pottery. Just as I expected, this is a coast. I thought that was the case. One, two, three. I cannot sell this coast because I moved from here. I cannot actually sell this coast. It's three tiles away. That's a shame. Yeah, it's a very weird terrain, actually. I don't have almost any room at all for expansion. Yeah, I don't want to go down, let's stay here. So that's going to be weird to play. Still just one relationship in Bologna. Just me. So turn nine. So it looks like we don't have any close neighbors, but we also don't have a lot of room for peaceful expansion. So it's going to be a very unusual game. Okay, we can go down here. So this small continent continents map so far um, really not disappointing we are getting some really unusual things but uh, that's interesting that's always you know we've been playing this game for quite some time now so it's good to have new things i'm personally okay with that so let me think about a cool expansion right like is this is this a lake what is this this is a lake so that is that is fresh water, but it's too close to Bologna. This is fresh water. Okay, so I could put a city here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's really far. How about if I do the this is going to be tough. Okay. Let's think about that later. For now, this guy will just come home. He does not have a lot of stuff to do right now. Uh -huh. Let's see if I can move here if this guy goes away. Yeah, that's good. Do you still have only one? Yeah, only one relationship. Are we isolated? That's, uh, that's a question right now. That is a relevant question right now. So, hmm. yeah, I could sell the stone and then one, two, three, four go up here. Okay, so we're going to do that because I don't have a lot of room and I want to expand kind of um, close to my capital, maybe. And then I can leave this one for later because this is always going to be my land. No one is going to ever steal that from me, so. I can definitely leave that for later. Irrigation, farm a resource. I really want to boost this stuff, but there is no farming resource at all around London. There is no wheat, no rice, nothing. So I, I have I simply cannot boost irrigation. That sucks big time. Oh wait a second. Wait a second. Hey. I got the bananas, cool. That's awesome. This guy can just wait. I usually build two slingers, but in this case we obviously don't need a lot of units. 
because of the terrain even barbarians will have a tough time unless we get barbarians right here but I'm fine with that actually I'm kind of okay with that Okay, let's chop something. I'm going to get another slinger just in case because I'm thinking. Okay, wait a second. If I leave this as fog past, maybe we get barbarians down there. And it could be, if I have two slingers, it could be okay. I can use them to boost archery. Yeah, that totally works. But first, we're going to do this. Boom, there you go. There seems to be someone here. It must be another city state, which is really good news because that way I get closer to boosting uh, political philosophy. This fellow will uh, go here. And this is fog. Okay, so we can get barbarians now. And that would actually be almost okay. Hello, Nazca. That is best. Man is mm, I guess this just in case they appear. Do we want a pantheon? I think the answer is no. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, plantation. There is one pantheon now with plantation that gives you culture for any type of plantation. I think that has changed as well. Uh, where are the available pantheons? God damn it. I thought they were there. Pantheons. Now we have like a list of lists. No, come on, give me. Where is the list of pantheons? Seriously? There you go. Um, hmm, no, no, there was one about plantations. Plantations, where are you? It was culture, right? I'm pretty sure it was culture. Pastures, plantations, goddess of festivals. Okay, so we will have one and two, maybe three or maybe not. Probably not. So one, two, three. That isn't really a lot. That is not a lot. So I'm not going to go for Pantheon. Screw that. It's not going to make such a big difference. Uh, mm, I mean, I don't know. It's. At this point, though, I could get a couple of plantations very quickly. That would be two culture points very quickly in a point in the at a point in the game in which two culture points are still actually kind of relevant. Um, okay, wait a second. How about production from fish? This guy. This guy has. Well, it doesn't have a lot of production. Quarry here. That's about it. This heals, so eventually he can get that. I could swap this tile, maybe. Okay, yeah, this guy has enough production. So the production from fish, maybe not. Um, okay. You know what, let's go and grab a pantheon. I mean, it's not super urgent, but having two extra culture points very early in the game could be nice. So I'm going to go with that. Discover a second continent. Who knows if it's going to happen? Maybe not, but... So...
Okay. So Nazca has met someone else. We know there is someone up there. So that is something to consider. This guy will wait for the barbarians to appear. And here I have a few options. I can chop the settler or I can wait for irrigation and get a plantation here. I decide to chop the settler. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to check this out before Nazca closes the borders. There you are. I would love to sample your hospitality. Oh, Aachen is actually the capital, that's pretty close. Have you set already your extra cities? No. Or is this a change? Maybe they won't trade cities early on in the game. I don't know, I mean, he should, this is this is Didi, right? Yeah, this is Didi. So they start with three settlers. He should have two more cities here, apart from the capital, of course. But he's not showing them. So that's weird. That is very weird. Hmm. Okay, so anyway, there they are. So one, two, three. Eventually there is going to be a war with Germany. I'm almost sure about that. But for now we can wait. Okay, three turns for the next settler, that's fine. After that settler we we will go with the builder again. Okay then. For now Nazca is basically providing a wall between my land and Germany. So oh finally a village. That is the first one I've seen all game long on turn twenty one. That took a while for sure. And we got a free builder. Oh, that's so nice. I mean, we are getting irrigation in one turn, so that's super nice. All right, then. So we don't need to build the builder right now. I could even build a monument, which I don't normally do. I normally go for um, money uh, for my monuments. But in this case, it's basically asking for it. Okay, this is going to flood up here, but not this one. First one, oh, first one, that's tough. Because I want the truffles, basically. But we'll have, oh, all of the truffles will flood. Oh no, global warming will eventually take the truffles away. Okay, whatever, let's go here. And so, plantation, plantation, plantation. There we go. Someone got the Great Bath on turn 22. Mm, yeah, I, I didn't build the Great Bath yet because on the difficulties that I play, the AI just get the, gets the Great Bath way too soon. So I can never go for it. Uh, animal husbandry already... We don't need it exactly yet, but we will eventually. So we can go either writing right now or animal husbandry right now. I think I'll go animal husbandry uh, just in case I need to get archery quickly later on. Okay, so there is definitely more room for expanding. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I could get a nice city here. Or one, two, three, four. Even there to get like a um, harbor here next to the pearls. Yeah, we have options definitely. We could get a harbor in this lake here. So all of my trade routes, I think, will come from harbors instead of commercial hubs. Um, we'll do this. All right, then. Nice, now we get two extra gold. And so we want one more build to boost um, craftsmanship. But where can we boost craftsmanship? Here. Or I could get mine here, but no. I 
I could purchase this and get this guy some production, but also no. Yeah, we are definitely going to go to cotton. Anyway, we we will have enough population eventually, so that it makes sense to have one luxury, you know. So how about this? No barbarians, no barbarians. Yep, delete Birmingham. You, my friend, are going to need a granary eventually. So build it. You can work these here, yeah, that's fine, and grow into that one, which is also more or less okay. Mm -hmm. We have a nice coast over here. Ooh, another village. Nice. And you are going to get me this luxury. Mm -hmm, that's fine. We still don't have a pantheon. And animal husbandry. Do we have horses? That is the question. Here. Okay, so we will eventually have horses, but not uh, right now. Which is a shame, because I can always sell them if I have them early on. Okay, so that's gonna take a while. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a couple of turns here, maybe, and then go into writing. Oh, 20 horses. Okay, fine. Can you give me money for this? That is very little money for a resource that you simply don't have. So I'm going to say no. Okay, so we boosted craftsmanship. This is actually kind of a nice style now with five gold per turn. So I should consider maybe having it. Maybe if London grows one more. That's an option for sure. Craftsmanship has been boosted, so we will have it soon. Guess this guy can go here. I'm going to need another settler, I guess. Oh, yeah. I really want this tile. How long until I have it? 30 turns? Uh, what if I buy it? Yeah, let's just buy it and lock it. Oh! Well, isn't that interesting? Let's go up and let's go up. Okay. So we have barbarians <laughs> right here. That's wild. Anyway, we are locking that tile, which is pretty good. This guy will get a plantation up here eventually when the barbarians are gone. Oh, um, Bologna wants to take the money from the barbarians away from me. I'm not super happy about that. Uh, let's just wait here. He's, uh, yeah, what what was that about city-states? You hate me? No. You like me because I'm staying away from city-states. Okay, I'm not going to attack Germany during the next 30 turns. So it would be useful to do this. Yeah, cool stuff. Now we are declared friends, so he won't attack me on 30 turns. I won't have enough units 30 turns from now to do anything against Germany. So it's a good idea to just block the possibility of a war. After 30 turns we will check that out again, but the situation is probably going to change. Oh, damn it, Germany is now taking this away from me. Well, that sucks. I really wanted to boost archery with that. 
you can come back you can go here okay um, wait wait everybody wait everyone's just waiting more settlers I would prefer to have Magnus as a governor before building a lot of settlers so that way I don't lose population okay I got his allocation now that's 25 gold that I get back however no, this is fine. Uh, because it's going to take a while for me to get Magnus I think I will just expand quickly because I want to get this city at least before Germany expands on this side of the map uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I will put one more here I have not found the continent right yeah only Europe that's everything we know for now Mm hmm Slinger waits. I think Germany is just going to kill this guy. That's going to take the era points from me as well, which is a real shame. Yeah, and this guy is just healing. So yeah. Not much to do over there. Does he know someone else? New. No. Yeah, he doesn't know anyone else, which means this might, might be a semi-isolation situation in which we can only talk to Germany during the early game. Yep. May the forces of evil become confused while your arrow is on its way to the target. Okay, that notification was a lot smaller than it was before. That I think that's great we really needed that change since the beginning of the game so it's fine that they finally did it oh and I forgot to get out of archery well that was a mistake I haven't played the game for like a month at least so I'm a bit rough but anyway <laughs> um, let me take a look at this style here um, okay so now I'm going to go writing definitely we will want eventually some stuff there celestial navigation needs to happen eventually as well but later on I guess and finally we can get friggin plantation there one two three yeah I can get that fish eventually and this one as well Yeah, I don't think I need to explore anything else up there. We are almost certainly going to enter the Dark Age. But uh, that's fine because Germany is not close enough to take cities away from us. Do they really not have any more cities? That, that doesn't make any sense. And he really doesn't want to pay for my horses. Okay. I think it's a rebalance where the value that the AI will give to resources has now changed. So it depends on how much they actually need for their units, which makes sense. I can't really complain about that. Uh, granary, yeah, that's fine. Here we go, settler, and then maybe builder. That is also fine. Do we want this money? Ooh, that's a very good tile. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe later for the third city so we can get a monument um, as quickly as possible. I would like to get my Pantheon before the end of this video, but um, looks like it's not going to happen. Ancient Era will end. Okay. Uh -huh, let's go down. There has to be another city somewhere. Every nation lives by exchanging. Okay, let's stay like this. Choose civic. Unfortunately, we couldn't boost foreign trade. 
we're going to do a little bit of that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. six population we're going to get one more and then in six turns another one so it's going to happen soon we're going to get that city uh, so we can go for six population we can boost it before eight turns and get the other eight turns for real yeah that's going to happen so we are definitely going to go for that and we can get a trader which will happen before the next builder and we're going to see if it's true whether uh, you know Germany has more cities or not it would be really weird I think they just don't want to trade their cities early on or they don't show you how many cities they have unless you have seen the cities so that would be a, a new change in the game and that would make uh, evaluating their power a bit harder in the early game I don't know I have not seen that in the patch notes so I don't know if that's an actual change or not but uh, I will see it I will see it soon uh, not before picking something here sailing okay wait a second what we are going to get this city here we, are we have animal husbandry so that's fine eventually we'll need fishing but not uh, immediately man I would really want some fish here that is that is very unlucky that the coast in which it's easier for me to get cities in the early game has uh, no fish whatsoever mm, so sailing is not a priority the problem is I don't have any more Eurekas mm -mm -mm. kill three barbarians not happening anytime soon make a trade route that one is definitely coming um, but I guess I go sailing just to get a bit closer to celestial navigation because I want to get this as quickly as possible and one more tile on this side and that's fine so we still have hopes for these barbarians so we're going to come back with the slinger we are going to hit next turn just once more Germany has switched to classical republic okay that's fine I don't have any problem with that I think I saw something in the patch that DI will not prioritize oligarchy so much unless they actually are at war which makes perfect sense there we go plus one culture from plantations so that's that's actually pretty good because um, we get two more culture points immediately well we get one right here and we are going to get another one very soon and we get one right here so we got two already and we're going to get three very soon and that's that's relevant at this point in the game so that's something to consider I would really like to meet another city-state this guy wants to be in the new city I will actually wait a couple of turns and I will send him to the new city to get a road between the new city and my capital and this guy well he's not showing me any cities so far I would like to follow this road actually and see if there is some city there is he coming for Nazca? maybe he is are there any envoys of him in Nazca? one which is not a lot none here I really don't want him attacking Bologna Bologna is very nice the Suzerain bonus is really really good so I don't want to lose Bologna at all okay this one all right you have to wait one more turn in next turn hanging gardens have been built that's fine I wasn't going for them I really don't want Germany attacking Bologna I hope that's not the case so we are in a dark age and he likes that I'm in the dark age large, which is interesting I boosted the early empire so I'm getting it in one turn uh, Eureka's yes I have a lot of Eureka's left 
So we're going to go with that. Hopefully I can get some of those Eurekas that I have left. And so tough one, tough one, tough one. To get this I need astrology which I haven't boosted. We can put uh, Am I going to mine a resource at some point? Apparently not. <laughs> Which is crazy. I don't have a single resource to mine. We'll put a few turns in here because if I finish bronze working without the kill three barbarians boost, I mean, normally that's super weird, but in this game, because of how the map has been built, unless a, a barbarian outpost gets built here, I will not get that. So. Is Germany surrounded by mountains? And so they couldn't expand because of that? That would be super crazy. But uh, maybe that's actually what happens. I don't know. Monument here in the new city. I like using my gold to buy monuments in new cities. Uh, that, that way you get uh, your border expansion earlier. We're going to go production, but for now we can lock this, that is a nice amount of gold so why not, we can wait for the production a little bit just to have 3 food and get growth in 5 turns and so this guy can now go to Liverpool and I go with route all the way to London and that way I connect my 3 cities but we're going to do all of that and we're going to check if Germany really does not have any more cities uh, during the next video, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later